This is the Braille tutorial for the 4x6 pool sample by Muto America. This was created using Flexi Sign and Print, the Muto edition. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to quickly and easily create this pool sample using the text to Braille feature built into the Flexi software. We will show you how to take these vector pieces and place them within the layout, show you how to create Braille from text, and we'll also show you how to create one sign and then fill up your entire bed to increase production. Let's get started. We're going to start out with a 4x6 rectangle, which is basically the size of our template and the size of our substrate. We're going to place each one of these individual items within the rectangle so we can design our layout. This is how we want our final piece to look. To create the pool, these are the steps you need to take. We're going to go up to our text tool, select it, Anywhere on the table bed, we're going to type in the word pool. We're going to go ahead and shrink this down to size to make sure it fits within the layout. The size of this piece ultimately is a four by six. There are certain guidelines in which your textile needs to be a certain height, depending on the size of your substrate. This one I know has to be at least 0.685 inches in height to fit a 4x6. This is 0.723, so I know I'm in compliance. We now need to go ahead and create this to the color that we want, which is ultimately going to be blue once we print it. I'm going to now create a second instance of the text and copy and paste a second one. This ultimately is going to be our Braille dots. To create Braille, you select your text, go up to your toolbar to text, Braille, text to Braille. It has now converted what you just selected as your text into Braille. We now need to make sure that your Braille is properly spaced below your text. There are certain guidelines that indicate where your text and your Braille need to be placed on your substrate as well as where your braille needs to be placed in regards to your text. This would not be in compliant. This would not be in compliant. In order to make sure that our text and our braille dots are compliant, we're going to select both items. We're going to go to arrange, spacing, We're going to make sure that this is selected here, which indicates our vertical alignment. We're going to select 0.375. That's the distance that needs to be required between the top of your braille dots and the bottom of your text. This is now compliant. We're now going to select whether or not we want this to be center justified, left justified, or right justified. For this particular design purpose, I want to put the braille dots right about here, so we're going to make this right justified. So we will select both items again, go to arrange, align, and right. This is now right justified, and the spacing is correct between your braille dots and your text to make sure it is ADA compliant. We now still have two separate pieces. We have our text and our tactile and our braille dots. While they are separated, we're going to create a second instance. So we're going to copy and paste yet again. So now we have two braille and two pool. This is going to be our buildup. So we're going to go over to our design editor and our objects. And you'll notice that this actually started to create separate layers as well. So we want to make sure that these are put into this correct layer. So we're printing in the, in the correct. So this is selected Braille and text. 
and our first surface, we're going to move this down to our tactile layer. Braille and text, this is on our first surface, so all of this is color. So everything that you see within here that's being selected is going to be printed on our color layer. And this will be printed on our tactile. So we've got two separate passes for this particular job. To create the buildup of ink to make sure it is ADA compliant, there are certain steps that we need to take to make sure we do that. Our tactile and our braille are going to be two separate heights. Please refer to the ADA guide that we've supplied. Our tactile, we're going to go down here to our swatch tool. We're going to select the darker gray ADA tactile, which shows that it's CMYK 20%. The other 80% is white and varnish. We are now going to select our braille and we're going to go to this swatch mark here. ADA Braille Dot CMYK 1%. That's 1% CMYK, 99% everything else. So these two can now be grouped together. The next step, we need to make sure that our Braille Dots for our color have a slight outline to make sure that we've got full coverage of the outside of our Braille Dots. To do that, we're going to select just our braille dots. We're going to go to effects, outline, and we're gonna change our outline outside 0 0.004. We're gonna make sure that this is join type and cap type. We wanna make sure that our inter interpolate color is selected with our backing. So these are the settings that we want to make sure that we have the correct outline for the Braille Dots. Anything more or less is going to give you a color variance between your Braille Dots and your actual color. And we select. So what this has done is this has put a slight outline around our Braille Dots. Again, this is going to allow the color to flow over the edges of our dots. We now need to take that outline and create the color. In this case here, it's just the same blue, which is our dark blue. So now we have our center and our outline, both the same color. You do not need to do that with the tactile, only the Braille dots. We're now going to select our Braille dots and our pool tactile and group them together. To move them in place to make sure that they're properly lined registration wise, we're going to select our pool and put it exactly where we want it within our layout. We're going to make a note of our XY radius, copy, so we have the numbers exact. Now we're going to select our pool, which is our under layer, which is our buildup, and we're going to Select that as our X so it's correctly placed. We're going to take our pool, our blue, find the Y radius for that, copy. Select our gray, which is our buildup, and paste it. They are now properly aligned. So our tactile and our color are now all one separate group. So when we go back to our layers, you'll see that we have our template first surface and tactile. Template, first surface, everything in color, and then our tactile. This is our buildup for our ADA compliance. Now we've designed our one sign. Obviously we wanna make sure that we've increased our productivity we want to try and fill up the rest of our bed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select the one sign. We are going to go to a line, step and repeat. And this was already pre-populated from a previous job. So you can make 
three across, two across, how many, how many ever you need to fit on your bed. In this case here, we can easily get 15 on our 661 UF. We can adjust the size in between if we have a bleed. This particular sample does not have a bleed. And this is how we're going to lay it out. So we hit our check mark. So it is now properly spaced each and every one of those and our registration is 100% correct. Now let's go ahead and send this over to the rip. To do this, we need to shut off certain layers. Our template, we don't need to send that over because we've already got this placed on the bed. First surface is going to be our last print job because it's going to be the color over our buildup. So we're going to print our tactile first. So this is everything on our tactile bed. So you'll see our pool, which is going to be our gray, which is our 20% CMYK. And then our braille dots, which you can barely see here, but they're there, which is our 1%. So we're going to select everything that you see on the bed. Make sure our tactile layer is selected. We're going to go up here to our rip and print. Keep our rip settings. We have a build up pass and we have a CMYK pass. These are presets that we've designed specifically for this job. The build up pass is what we're printing, so we're going to select our build up. Everything else is pre configured. All you need to do is hit send. Now we can go ahead and send over our color job. So we need to shut off our tactile and turn on our color layer. So we're going to select our first surface color layer. We're going to select everything on the table bed again. Again, we go back up to rip and print. Select our CMYK pass. Again, everything has been pre set up for you within these presets that we've designed and created. You click send and done. So now going to the rip. Now we're in the rip. This is our pool job. This is all of our tactile and our braille that's got our build up. You'll see that the CMYK white, white, varnish, varnish, this is what's giving the build up to make sure it's compliant. We're going to go ahead and take this and we'll drag it up to the top and send it to print. Once that's done, the way the presets are set up, it will automatically take this job, send it back to home, drop the table bed, and get it ready for your color pass. So by taking this job and sending it up to the print queue to start printing, it will automatically start printing that second pass once your buildup layer has completed. And that's it. Thank you for following our tutorial for Braille Made Easy for the pool sample from Muto America.